everyone welcome to home cooking with me Hema Subramanian when it comes to snacks one of my personal favorites are cutlets so today I'm going to share this lovely cutlet recipe and we're going to make this with paneer now I can't wait to share it with you guys let's get started and check out the recipe so for this recipe I'm taking one medium-sized carrot just grate it and keep it aside grate one large boiled potato To make the masala for the cutlets, take a white pan, add a little oil. Next, add one large onion finely chopped, two green chilies finely chopped. So once the onions are transparent, add half teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. Now I'm going to add all the spice powders, starting with quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. 1 teaspoon red chilli powder, 1 teaspoon salt, half teaspoon cumin powder, half teaspoon garam masala powder and half teaspoon chaat masala powder. Just mix everything. So once you've mixed all the spice powders, add the grated carrot. This is one medium sized carrot that's been finely grated. Just mix it in. Next add one large potato that's been grated. Keeping the flame on low, just mix everything together. So now I'm going to add some chopped coriander leaves. So just mix it in. Turn off the stove and transfer the mixture into a bowl. The mixture is cooled down completely. I'm going to grate the paneer. For this recipe, I've taken 200 grams of fresh paneer. So just mix it all in. Once you've mixed the paneer, add about quarter cup of breadcrumbs. So this is going to bind the mixture well as well as it will absorb all the excess moisture that's in the mix. The mixture for the cutlet is ready. Now let's start making the cutlets. Just take a little bit of the mixture. You can shape it any way you want, but I'm just making the regular circular ones. As you can see, this, this is a good size. You don't want it too flat. So now I'm going to make the slurry for the cutlets. To a bowl, take one tablespoon of maida, that is all-purpose flour, two teaspoons corn flour. Just pour a little water and mix everything. So we're going to make the slurry to coat the cutlets. So the slurry is ready. You can see it's not too thick or too diluted. So make sure it's just right so that it coats the cutlets. So here I've assembled the slurry as well as the breadcrumbs. Now we're going to coat the cutlets with the slurry and the breadcrumbs and leave them aside. Dip the prepared cutlet into the slurry. So make sure it coats well. Place it onto the breadcrumbs. Just coat the cutlets with the breadcrumbs on all sides. You can easily make these breadcrumbs at home. I've made a video on how to make them. I'll give you the link in the description. You can check that and make your own breadcrumbs at home to make any cutlets or any fried items as you please. Refrigerate this for about 10 to 15 minutes before deep frying them. So once the oil is hot, maintain the flame on a medium and gently slide in the cutlets. Deep fry them till you get a lovely golden brown color. Remove the cutlets from the hot oil and serve it immediately with some nice ketchup by the side.
delicious, yummy paneer cutlets that you can serve nice and hot with some nice ketchup by the side. They make for a perfect starter for any get-togethers, for dinners, or simply if you're craving for something really nice and different to eat, you can try them. So make sure you make them and serve them hot and enjoy it with your family and friends.